And welcome back, this is Bella Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I am joined as always by my trusty squad of Luke, Nova, Bro, and Gray. We are in the Jade Passage around basement number 4. And we need to head down to basement number 5 where we find cliffs. Cliffs with nothing below them. Awesome! Luckily you can't run off these cliffs, but still, kind of intimidating. Kind of intimidating. In here we do get a high potion. And then over here we get a protect ring, which is gloves? Really? Uh, like, really? It protects against instant death spells, but everybody's already on the Genji gloves. Except for Gray, but it's still not really worth it. Defense down by 7. Uh, not many people use the instant death anymore. So let's keep heading east. And here we find another high potion. Sweet! Looks like there's really only one way we can go, and that's through this door, which leads us down to basement number six. Jade Passage. Only seems to be a long, narrow hallway here. Yeah, it pretty much is. Awesome. It does mean I won't get lost, that's for sure. But, hey, we have a teleporter here. Let's go ahead and use it. Where is it going to take us? You should know. But do you really? You have entered Pandemonium. Pandemonium, first floor! Yeah, you can still warp out of the Pandemonium, just for the record, but then you will have to go all the way through the Jade Passage again. It's not necessarily a lot of fun. Do we have any new enemies now that we're in the Pandemonium? Uh, Death Riders and Mithril Golems. That's awesome. No, 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 no. Where am I going? Hopefully, I can take out these Death Riders pretty... Holy crap. That does not look like fun. These guys hit hard, man. Luckily, I did bring quite a few ethers and elixirs with me, so I will have time to heal everybody up, but still, jeez, man. Let's take out these guys. These guys definitely hit harder. Look, I mean, look at that. That's insane. I should get an endurance and a... Oh, that killed her. Damn it! Alright. You go ahead and life, everybody. You attack, you attack. I may have to bust out the Ancient Sword again just for the curse because Gray's left hand is, her right hand is not doing that much damage right now. And it looks like it's going to be HP cre increases all around right now. This guy is not easy. Let's go ahead and cast Holy on him. While I have the chance. Still does 400 damage, you know, that's a lot better than what the regular physical attacks are doing. And down goes Bro. Damn it, this guy does hit hard. Maybe I'm not prepared for Pandemonium, but we will see. I'm gonna go for it. 12,000! Endurance increase, HP, endurance, HP, endurance. And we get a Thunder Spear, which I no longer require. Hold on while I heal everybody up. Let get out of this little place here. This place can be quite confusing, but you start to get used to it. I bet there's another new enemy here, isn't there? Nope, just another mithril golem. You get used to what you can and can't go through. So let's head up these stairs over here. Like I said, these stairs over here. And then we can find our way down these stairs over here. Where we do find some new enemies. These are Mantis Devils. And they suck, I bet. Probably not as much as the Death Riders. Those guys can suck whatever it is that Death Riders usually suck. I mean, look at that. That's insane how much damage they're getting in. Down goes that Death, uh, that Mantis Devil. But hopefully, fire, uh, fire heals the freaking Mantis Devils. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it heal them? Um, I think I'm going to have time to, to get that one off to heal. Let's see if I do. 
I get a little bit in, and uh, it just keeps getting hit, and these guys keep healing themselves. Oh, and down goes Nova. What? Almost one hit it entirely. That is not cool. That is not cool at all. Life 2, yeah, it leveled up because people kept dying. What do you want me to say? It might get up to level 3 by the time I'm done with this. I am not happy about that. Not enough for the victory, but enough to, to make Bro look very sad. But in he comes, and he is able to take it out. Nicely done. I need to heal up. Jeez. Oh, and I get a ribbon! Ribbon, that... Hold on, let's let's take a look at that. Because it's a freaking ribbon. And it's always one of the best things ever in these games. May protect against special attacks. Everybody on the diamond helm? It's only down by two. Alright, uh, you are now getting the ribbon. I will be back once I've finished healing everybody up. So let's head down here and up and around. Up through here, yeah, the, the random encounter rate, as you might expect, is a little bit higher. Well, maybe not too much higher, but it feels like it because everything's so much stronger. So let's go south here, and I believe, yeah, up here, since it's pretty much the only way I can go. But I thought I saw something up here. I did, a treasure chest, and in here we do get an ether, which is very, very handy in this dungeon. And we do find some new enemies here. We have the evil buds as normal, but we also have the blood fiends. I am going to try to burn them. And I believe I can one-shot the evil buds now. I'm not 100% on that. Please don't hit anybody. Thank you. I hate stop. And boom, Aegis Shield to the rescue. Down goes one of the evil buds. And, oh, we're going for the, the Blood Fiend, and down it goes. Wow, those guys are not nearly as tough as I had expected them to be. Down goes the other evil bud, and we should be able to finish this guy off. Luke looks like just did. That's the power of the Excalibur! So let's continue on. We want to head this way now. Once again, very, very simple layout once you get used to what it's supposed to look like. And continue up north here, we do find another teleporter. Let's use it. You know what just occurred to me? Some of you may remember this. This is from Dissidia. And since it's from Dissidia, you probably know that this is the last dungeon, and it is. I don't think that's giving too much away. Inventory is full. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think it's giving too much away because, uh, you know, we're, you should have expected the game to end soon. Plus, they've been kind of hinting at it, and look how awesome this place is. Is there something here? Is this a... Is this still a random fight? Yeah, it is. Sorry, I just got confused for a second there why we got in a fight right there. It was some kind of strange. So we need to head back the way that we came. So let's head up here. And the other way, pretty much. Continuing our way through the dungeon. Oh, look at, oh, oh no, it's a dead end. Oh, wait a second. It's a shortcut, which is awesome because there's nothing left in this floor. So we need to warp all the way to the fourth floor. Oh, I don't like the looks of this at all. Oh, man. There are just some floors that you know are not going to be good for you. Oh, apparently we already went on to the fifth floor. Awesome. Jeez, this place looks kind of confusing. But these doors are very, very apparent. Um, okay, I think we need to go this way. Now I do believe there is a hidden passage right there and right there. Let's go ahead and take on... Oh, Genji, Genji gloves, but there is a monster inside that I, I know about because I remember this thing. It's Zombie Borgen. Apparently Borgen won. But, yeah, they always kind of put that there. But it still looks weird right now for so for whatever reason. Now, I do think that we can just attack him to death. If, if I remember right. If I remember right. But he has flair 16. 
and he soloed it on bro. Which only still does 700 damage, so... Too bad, so sad, bro killed you in revenge. Flare 16, good god. Bro's magic defense it up. Oh, look at that. You've only made him stronger. We are Saiyans. Uh, the Genji Gloves, I think you kind of saw I already had equipped on most everybody. I think the White Dragons dropped him in the beginning of uh, of the Jade Passage. It's, you know, it's an increase of 20 on defense. But hold on, I do need to heal Bro up. Now from here, I believe we want to go through here. Okay, now we want to head north. And once again, there's another... There, there's two secret passages. And new enemies! We have Fenrir's, which are upgraded wolves, obviously. And they're blue, so I'm going to cast fire on them. That is my logic, and I'm sticking to it. Well, so is the Frost Lizard, so... Hopefully my logic works both ways, and since they're both blue, they, they both die to this. Well... Okay, so... Oh, damn. What the... Why does the blue wolf have fire? Damn. Look at that. That's awesome. Doesn't do crap for damage, but it looked awesome. And that's what's important, really. When you come right down to it, who cares how much damage your spell does, as long as it gets the... Uh, whatever. I think... Yeah, there we go. There's another secret passage, so three secret passages later. Now this floor does have some tough random encounters. That was actually three fire gigases that I just fought. But it's all worth it for the Mesamune. Let's get that equipped right away. Yeah. Strongest sword in the game. I think the strongest weapon overall as well. Look at that. Up by 50 from the Excalibur. Screw you, England. Japan knows how to make a blade. So guess what you get to do. You get to equip the Excalibur and the Sunblade. Now let's get out of this room. Damn it. Actually, let's just show this off for a second here. Um, yeah, these are the three Fire Gigases, same as I thought before. Um, of course, they're weak to ice. But holy crap, look at that. 1,300 damage. Of course, they still hit hard. There's nothing really you can do about that. But look at that damage. It almost does as much as Bro combined. Oh my gosh, that's just... Masamune is so powerful. But of course, Ice is also very powerful. It's not enough for the victory. But it should be enough that I don't have to worry about these guys too much anymore. He does get another shot in, but that's only really going to heal up. Gray's HP over time. You should see an HP increase from him. Yeah, there we go. Let's get out of this room now because I don't like the looks of it no more. But now it's pretty much back the way we came to the very beginning. So, if you remember, right? We have to go through, I believe it was the top up here? Yes. And then through here and back down to basement number four. We'll technically be back up to basement number four, but whatever. So it's back to... Yeah, back to basement number four. Up, oh, apparently. We must go up. And now it's time to go through this second door right here. I don't like the looks of this room either. And I believe we need to go through here, and then up to here. What's in this treasure chest, though? You'll have to wait to find out next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been my trusty squad of Luke, Nova, Bro, and Gray. When we come back, I will open this chest. It'll be awesome. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.